Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and for today's GRE Math video, we're gonna check out some quantitative comparison. I'm gonna show you some tips how to deal with a special kind of question type. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, in this question, notice we have quantitative comparison, column A, column B. We have the parameters or the conditions above column A and B, and in this case, it's zero is less than the product of A, B, and C, which is less than one. And in column A, we have AB divided by C. Column B, we have 1. So the first thing you should do is think to yourself, huh, I can simplify things by multiplying C by both sides. That way, I don't have to divide it. I'm simply comparing A times B in column A to C in column B. So how does that help me? Well, what we're first going to do is we are going to plug in some numbers here that make this statement above true, a times b times c. So we know that if you have two, three fractions that are all less than one but greater than zero, and you multiply them together, you're gonna get some smaller fraction, some number between zero and one. So you're not gonna violate the parameters. So let's do that right now. In column A, we have a times b. Let's just make a and b both one half, right? Let's make our lives easy by choosing simple numbers. So 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. Now we have C in column B. What could C be? Well, C could technically be 1 fourth because again it's a fraction between 0 and 1 and we multiply a bunch of fractions between 0 and 1 together. Together they're always going to end up being between 0 and 1 and that's great to have. So you have 1 fourth and 1 fourth. So we found an instance where the columns could be equal. But as soon as we change that number to any other number that's between 0 and 1, let's say 1 tenth, which is smaller, or one half for C, which is bigger, those two columns are no longer equal. And so once you have one answer choice in quantitative comparison, and you're able to disprove it or come up with another case, then you know that the answer always has to be D. And the takeaway from this is that we use very little mental math, but we rearranged the columns to make it easier for us. We plugged in a couple of numbers and thought about it logically, that we were able to say, hey, look, let's make these two columns equal. Therefore, if I choose any number that's different for C, it will no longer make the columns equal, and so therefore the answer has to be D. Very little math, lots of logic. That's what the quantitative comparison is oftentimes looking for, and I hope you like that tip. I hope you enjoy those tips, and for a lot of quick tips, good things to know, especially if you don't have much time, you wanna check out our blog post on post on how to study for the GRE in one month, which is in the description below. But of course, if you want more videos like this one, check out the ones on your left, and I will see you next time.